it actually took way longer than expected for all of my Prime Day stuff to show up. I guess it has to do with the amount of people that are ordering and the fact that there's not enough drivers to actually deliver all of it. Like one of my items, I got a random email notification from some delivery company that I've never heard of in my life. That's besides the point. I ordered a bunch of tech and just other stuff that'll help my channel out in the long run. So this is it. This is my dope tech Amazon Prime Edition. So starting off with something a bit boring, but has been extremely useful already. These are the Ulanzi Fast Claws and I ordered about five of them. I'm somebody who creates a lot of content, not only for myself, but but I also do videography. I have a ton of different mounts and tripods. So for example, when I'm vlogging, I use this little mount here. When I'm stationary slash doing in-studio stuff, I use this tripod here. I just picked up this dope suction mount for the interior and exterior of my truck. And right now, just to switch up the angle, I'm actually shooting on my C-stand. And so at any given moment, on any given project, I'm shooting on one or a combination of all of these mounts. And it just made sense to grab something that I can quickly mount and dismount my camera from, and also quickly switch from horizontal to vertical. So these are really cool because they have a a quick release on either side but they also have a lock here so that you don't accidentally release your camera and they're just super fast and efficient to use i can easily use one hand to get my camera into the mount and not have to worry about it. next up another kind of boring one this is the pgy tech sd card holder slash reader usually i just have a ton of sd cards on my desk strewn about the place and when it comes to finding one i can never seem to locate them when i need them and then on top of that when i'm traveling i just kind of toss them in a pocket in my bag and i hope that i remember that they're there at least now i'm able to store my sd cards all in in one place. I think this holds four SDs and eight micro SDs or four SDs and six micro SDs plus has a little ejection tool there. And then what I really love about it is the fact that it's also a reader. So I can take the USB-C cable out of the side there, plug that directly into my laptop. And now not only am I able to carry all of my SDs in one place, but when I'm shooting on the go or whatever the case is, I'm also able to pull the footage off right onto my laptop. Just something very easy and sort of rugged that also looks cool and it was cheap, so I picked it up. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the actual interesting tech. This is a Fire Stick 4K Max. I didn't get this one to watch content. If you follow any of my channels on Instagram or TikTok, I've actually been talking a lot about these guys here. That's because Microsoft recently announced and launched Xbox Game Pass that can run on the Fire Stick, and it actually runs very, very good. The only caveat there is that it has to be a Fire Stick 4K or 4K Max from 2023. The quickest way to know that you bought the right one is if you look at this guy here and you see those rounded edges, that means you have the correct Fire Stick that's able to run the Game Pass. And then obviously on top of that, you need a Game Pass subscription. Now, in my experience of using this guy here as someone who runs a lot of Xbox games, more so than my PS5, and as an avid Game Pass user, there is next to no delay when you're using this to game. I don't play that many first person shooters right now. I'm still waiting for Call of Duty, but for Monster Hunter, Madden, Slay the Spire, and the games that I like to play, I've had absolutely no issues when using this. I don't know what it's like when you have a slower internet connection. One thing that I will say though, is that you might notice a little drop off in the quality of the graphics in the games that you're playing. Obviously, because you're streaming the game, it's not gonna be like having it natively on the actual console or PC that it's meant to run on. So it's still gonna look way better than Nintendo Switch, don't get me wrong. Like it looks very good and within five minutes, your eyes and your brain adjust to it so you're not even worried about the graphics. It's just nice to be able to take this on the go anywhere that you wanna go and play as long as you have an internet connection and you're able to access your entire Game Pass library. So unbelievable pickup. And to go along with that Fire Stick pickup, I had to grab another Xbox controller. At the moment, I only had one, so I figured it would be nice to have one that I can dedicate solely to the Fire Stick. So if I'm in the basement playing a game and I gotta go upstairs for whatever reason, I wanna continue up there or play in bed, at least I can leave my Xbox controller down here and then bring this one up wherever I'm going or bring this one with me when I'm traveling and not have to worry about losing it and then having no controller whatsoever. So it was cheap. I think these were like 20 or $25 off and I figured might as well just pick up another one. And that extra controller is extra useful because of this guy here. While I didn't pick up the MetaQuest during the Amazon Prime sale, I actually got it from Best Buy during the same Amazon Prime day because they had the same discount on the device. I did, however, pick up the MetaQuest 3 Elite Strap with battery, this guy right here. If you have a MetaQuest 3 and you don't have an Elite Strap yet because the price is too high or you just weren't sure if it's gonna be a good investment or not, absolutely pick one of these up, whether you grab the battery version or not. I would highly recommend the battery version because it just makes this device feel completely completely different. So when you're using the MetaQuest 3 with the default strap that comes, it's very front heavy and just uncomfortable on your face. Ever since getting the Elite strap with battery, not only is my battery life doubled, but the strap also makes it 100% balanced on your face. So I don't feel any weight at the front. I don't feel any weight at the back. Everything is 
evenly dispersed and I can actually use this for four hours straight without any discomfort whatsoever. So not only does this make the device more comfortable, but the fact that you're now able to game for up to four hours or watch a full movie without having to take a charge break, game changer. And so yeah, before I forget, it's very easy to don and doff. It is doff, right? Like doff means take off. Don the helm and doff it. I'm pretty sure that's right. So it is a lot easier to don and doff this because it just has this little dial at the back that you turn. And by turning that dial, it either shortens or lengthens the headset. Again, very easy to put on, very easy to take it off, very easy to tighten and very easy to loosen. So you essentially get a perfect fit every single time. All right, let me take this off. And honorable mention, the case is absolutely worth it. And now for what I was the most excited about. Actually, hold on, I forgot one more boring one. Well, it's not that boring. It's actually pretty cool with the size of this thing. So this is the Samsung T9 4 terabyte portable SSD. And if you look up the price of one of these, it's about just as expensive as the MetaQuest 3. So I had to grab this when it was on sale. Again, I make so much content that I'm always running out of space on my laptops. I do have a bunch of Samsung T7s, but those run out so fast as well. So this guy here is super, super fast. Like I said, it's four terabytes. So I'm able to put all the footage from all my videos onto this SSD and it's fast enough that I can edit directly off of it. So as soon as I saw that this went on sale, as expensive as it is, it was like an automatic cop for me. And finally, the piece of tech that I've been the most excited about, and I absolutely went nuts when I saw that this was on sale, it is the Sonos Sub Mini. And legit, I checked back after I bought it and they were all sold out. So back in about February, we got a brand new 75 inch TV upstairs, and then we got the Sonos Beam. And that was my first foray into the whole Sonos audio ecosystem. A few months later, we picked up two Sonos Era 100s and put those on stands pretty much behind the couch as sort of a surround sound setup. But when I looked at the Sonos Sub, it was $1,000 Canadian and the thing looked massive. So when I heard about the Sonos Sub Mini, I thought that it was gonna be small. Price was a lot more reasonable and we don't have that big of a living room anyways. But honestly, when this thing showed up, I really wasn't expecting it to be this large. Like the box is massive and the subwoofer itself is pretty large as well. It's 15 pounds and I don't know what the full sub sounds like but the sub mini has some incredible bass like it just makes the whole listening experience of whatever movie tv show music anything that you're watching just sounds so much better now that you've got that rumbling bass there and i think the overall design of the sub mini looks beautiful in any room that you put it in whether you get the black version or the white version it just looks good so it's nice that it's both functional and aesthetic and the fact that i was able to get it for 20 something percent off and so yeah that's all the tech that i picked up on amazon prime day it doesn't seem like a lot but it definitely costs a lot. It's still crazy to me that the T9 costs just as much as the Sonos Sub did, but it's whatever. I'm happy with everything that I bought. Good things aren't cheap and cheap things aren't good, so it is what it is. I'm also interested to know what you guys picked up on Prime Day, so feel free to let me know down below, but either way, that's pretty much been it from me. Much love as always, throwing up two of them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.